Hey there, this is Mr. Icarus, and welcome to yet another edition of Doom Mod Madness. This time around, we're checking out Psychic. This is a gameplay mod that gives you access to upgradable weaponry and upgradable special abilities. Once again, I'm also using the Ketchup mod here, and as a result, these abilities also leave a rather impressive mess in their wake, which is always fun. One of the first things I noticed about Psychic, though, was that there seems to be a pretty strong influence from Devil May Cry at work here, and that's largely because when you pick up tokens from downed enemies, it pretty much makes the exact same noise as the orbs you pick up in the original Devil May Cry games. Not to mention the pistols that we've got here. One's black, one's white, and I'm pretty sure that's another direct reference to Devil May Cry and Dante's guns, Ebony and Ivory. And if you needed even more evidence to connect the two, the orbs that you collect can be used to purchase upgrades for your weaponry and your special abilities. I've got to admit, at first when I gave this a whirl, I was a little worried that all of the options and upgrades and power-ups would uh, get a little bit confusing, a little bit bewildering. But as it happens, this mod actually plays pretty simply and pretty straightforward. Your weapons have unlimited ammunition, so you don't really need to go ammo hunting. Your special abilities run off a gauge, which you can see on the lower right-hand corner, and occasionally you'll be able to pick up power-ups, which will max out the power of either your weapon or your special abilities. This nail gun, for example, is pretty weedy in terms of range, and the beauty of the power-ups is that if you collect one, like this one around the corner, you suddenly have a taste of what it's like at max strength, and this works across the entire armory that you have available. And the nice thing about it is that it means you don't have to waste orbs on a weapon that you may not enjoy at max strength. Same thing goes for the special abilities as well, provided you've at least purchased them at base level first. It's a pretty nice system, all things considered, because it doesn't force you down any particular path. It allows you the freedom to choose your favorite weapons and abilities and invest in upgrading them without making you feel like you might lose out on something else. If there's one suggestion I'd make to anyone interested in giving this a whirl, though, it'd probably be dial up the difficulty to something a little tougher than you'd normally choose, because as fun as it is with all of the weapon variety and the special abilities, truth is you begin pretty overpowered to start with anyway, and it only gets easier thanks to this. This is the cyber shop where you can spend your tokens to either upgrade existing weapons or abilities or outright buy new weapons and abilities. It's a pretty cool system when I think about it, because it cuts out the faff of having to track down that one particular weapon you actually enjoy using, and you can never guarantee that you're going to be able to run into it during the course of any given map pack. That said though, you can probably tell what bewildered me about this the first time around, because there's just so many options to cycle through here. I mean, you've got eight different unique psychic abilities, each with three upgrade tiers, and, and picking one that you know you're going to be upgrading over the course of your playthrough can be um, a little daunting to choose from at first. And then you've got power-ups. 16 of them. That's, uh, that's a lot of choice. If you thought dealing with eight individual psychic abilities was daunting, this will probably make your head spin a little. But you've got defensive abilities, offensive abilities, instant uses, and th there's just tons to experiment with here. In fact, we're going to experiment with the time freeze here, which I'm pretty sure is going to be exactly the same as using the console command, but um, that's the beauty of it. You can just go nuts as long as you've got enough coin, and I think we've got enough coin for extra armor, which we're definitely going to use, and we could also boost our health to 200 if we wanted to. But we're not going to do that because we're hardcore. But anyway, the time freeze here seems to have turned up the brightness on our monitor for some reason. And yeah, it's pretty much the same as using the console command. It'll pretty much freeze my projectiles in mid-air, and when time unsticks... Ah, that was a little bit of a disappointment to be perfectly honest. I was hoping for the sound to come back because uh, having all of that stuff set up and not being able to enjoy the boom is uh, a little bit of an anticlimax to be honest. Oh well, I guess we're just gonna have to switch over to the other stuff we've purchased. Just gonna switch over to the plasma here in the inventory. Let's see what this one does. Oh, that's a lot more satisfying. I think that was a full upgrade charge as well, because uh, I've only just gotten to the bottom of my uh, my power-up tank for my special abilities. And the uh, default is a lot slower, but still makes things go splat. <laughs> Can't complain there. But yeah, I should probably do something about my health here. This is, this is the price of going hardcore, ladies and gentlemen. It has the tendency to very nearly get you killed. But even then, I'd still say that this isn't really a mod 
I'd recommend if you're looking for a challenging time in Doom. It's, uh, it's pretty much a power fantasy mod in my opinion. Not that there's anything inherently wrong with being a power fantasy mod, I just find that mods that attempt to provide me with a bit more of a challenging experience tend to hold my attention a bit longer. Maybe that's why Psychic has so many choices for you to uh, inflict death and destruction on your enemies. Actually, in that regard, I've just realized that I've only really shown you a, a small number of the Psychic abilities that you have access to here, so you know what? I think it's time for us to load up a few cheats and uh, unleash even more death and destruction. You know what? Let's take it from the top. We're gonna go through the weaponry here at full power, which is pretty damn devastating. I mean, it takes how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six shots. Six shots to kill a Hell Knight. So, um, this is, this is so you got a good baseline here of how overpowered you can become while playing Psychic. The shotgun, the shotgun just wrecks absolutely everything. And the grenade launcher, I'm pretty much imagining it's more of the same. This one's attribute is more on, uh, splash damage, and <laughs> that is certainly a bit of splash. There's a lot of splash. Damn. But after that, we've got the nail gun, and we know the deal with the nail gun. It's nothing too flashy, to be honest. But this thing. I'm intrigued to see what this thing does. Oh. Oh, really? Is that it? Is, is that all it does? Is this is this fully powered? Yeah, it is. It is actually fully powered. This this is the most this is the most amount of fireworks you're gonna get. This is apparently the super duper ultra prototype weapon of psychic, and I am so disappointed by that. Wow, that that is a bit of a letdown. Oh well, at least we've got psychic abilities. This one that was <laughs> that was dark, which can apparently take out Mancubus in one go. We've got gravity which forces things back and coincidentally kills them as well. I think it's more intended for when you're surrounded by a lot of enemies and you want to just force them away from you. We've also got lightning. Let's see what it does to these cacos. Not much. Not much at all. <laughs> oh crap, we've ran out of power. I'm gonna have to top myself up. And yeah, that actually seems pretty weak for a lightning strike. Uh, maybe fire will do the job. And uh, oh wait, no, am I on fire? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> now, I I am on fire. I am just running around setting everything else on fire. That 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 just seems entirely useless to me. <laughs> and Earth. What? What? I, I don't know if my brain is comprehending this, but I'm raining Earth from above. Where there is no Earth to rain Earth down from. <laughs> I'm just finding this stuff amusingly lame. This is the ice ability, which apparently sends out a sticky mine, which can freeze an individual enemy. I'm pretty sure that when the mine explodes, it's supposed to spread out extra damaging ice particles, but we're gonna try it again here, just in case. And no, it, it, it just apparently freezes a single enemy. Th this is apparently fully powered level three here, and <laughs> I, I feel like I'm missing a trick. At least I've got the plasma ability, because this is just fun. <laughs> Nothing quite like launching a railgun round out of your face. And that's pretty much what the plasma ability is. But yeah, running through all those extra abilities has kind of forced me to reevaluate my opinion of Psychic ever so slightly. I'd still regard it as a power fantasy, but I could say it stands to be a hell of a lot more fantastic, especially in regards to some of the, the Psychic abilities beyond the plasma, the Dark Ability and the Steel Ability. Those are the, the pretty good, fun, entertaining ones to use. The rest are kind of... Uh, meh. Overall though, I'd still say Psychic is definitely worth playing and worth checking out. It's still a lot of fun, even with a few of the duff abilities there. You can just ignore them, to be perfectly honest, and focus on the genuinely good ones. Just pump your orbs into those instead. But in any case, that was Psychic. If you want to check it out, the link as usual, is in the description below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Feel free to let me know what you thought in the comments below, and feel free to suggest any mods you'd like to see me cover in future episodes of Doom Mod Madness. This has been Mr. Icarus. Thank you very much for watching. Icarus out.